they could be the most impacted by Niger's political crisis. The UN says some 4.3 million people were already in need of aid in the West African country, a figure that's likely to rise following the latest power grab, with economic sanctions threatening to increase the price of food, medicine and other basic goods. And the risk is that we start running out of um, assistance materials to be able to, um, to help out people. I'm talking about simple things that are so life-saving. I'm talking about vaccines. I'm talking about food. Following the July 26th coup, Niger was hit by a series of sanctions, including the suspension of EU financial support, a ban on commercial transactions, and the freezing of state assets. On Sunday, military leaders announced the closing of the country's airspace, adding another logistical hurdle for aid agencies trying to bring in much-needed resources. This has certainly interrupted uh, some of our humanitarian operations, given that we're so reliant on having to cover vast space. It's a huge country. For now, the UN says Niger has been able to rely on its own supplies to distribute aid. But as stocks begin to deplete, the agency warns of a looming humanitarian crisis in the West African country.